Welcome to this short clip on the GL account determination matrix feature in SAP Business One version 9.3. Please review this legal disclaimer. In the GL account determination matrix function, you can now choose up to five user-defined fields as account determination criteria. The five user-defined fields together with the standard fields can be used to determine the account that gets posted to automatically from the marketing documents. The options for these fields in the determination criteria are all, which means that this field is not relevant in the determination of account, empty, means the field must be empty to consider this rule. Filled means the field must have a value for this rule. Enter value means a specific predetermined value is required for this rule. The business scenario for this is OEC Computers sells SAP Business One software licenses. Management at OEC Computers would like to see the gross profit generated by sales of software. They would also like to see the revenues generated by sales of cloud-based or on-premise sales of both HANA and SQL licenses. Finally, the above should be divided between sales in the North and the South in order to deploy resources to the regions. Let us have a quick look at this in SAP Business One. To set up the account determination rules, we need to go to Modules, Administration, Setup, Financials, GL Account Determination, GL Account Determination. You will notice that in the Sales tab, there are 14 rules set up against the revenue account. Let's look at the rules. Here the rules that we are interested in are R12 through to R19. Let us focus on one rule, say R12. There are three user-defined fields whose values will determine the account to be used, namely business partner location, in this case is the South region, marketing documents rows database, in this case the HANA database, Marketing Documents Rows Deployment, in this case, the Cloud Deployment. If this combination of criteria are true, then the cost of goods sold account to be posted to should be 500026, and the revenue account should be 40051. Let us post a transaction to see this. Modules, Sales, Invoice. Customer is MaxTech. Let us see the user defined value for this customer. We drill down to MaxTech, and on the right here, the location is the South region. Next, we insert the item SB01 and say we sell five licenses of HANA to be deployed on the cloud. These are the other two user-defined fields that are part of the criteria for the rule to hold. Next, we simulate the journal. Notice the revenue account posted to is 400051 and the cost of goods sold account posted to is 50026 as per our rule defined in the advanced GL account determination rules screen.
that completes our demonstration on the GL account determination matrix feature in SAP Business One version 9.3.